Nowadays, platformers are very popular, with an extensive library of indie developers attempting their versions of tricky jumps and side-scrollers. That said, platformers need to be innovative, fun, and maybe a bit challenging in order to be great games. Rayman Legends hits on all three and extends beyond its already amazing predecessor, Rayman Origins. I'm Nicholas from Plugged Into Gaming, and I just finished Rayman Legends, so here's my review. The most notable difference between the two new Rayman games is that Rayman Legends sports a stunning HD hand-painted environment, taking full advantage of the next-gen consoles. Origins look great, but the UbiArt framework excelled in capturing the world Rayman is intended to live in this time even better. Complementing the visuals is the fitting music, with some lively and frantic themes and some mellow soothing tracks. While I wouldn't call any one track memorable, they set a nice tone for the levels as you platform along. Capping off the excellent presentation is the fluid animation and smooth frame rate, which only barely stumbled in fast moving areas, mostly with bosses, but it was hardly noticeable. Also, death is never a problem, as lives don't exist, with fast respawning, so you're never taken too far out of the action. Rayman Legends takes place 100 years after the events in Rayman Origins, but not that that matters, as the core game is near identical to Origins, but this time, Evil Teensies have imprisoned the rest of the Teensies, which you have to save. This creates the biggest gameplay difference between the two Rebirth Rayman games. In most levels, you'll find 10 hidden Teensies hidden around the level, as well as two hidden rooms containing two Royalty Teensies, which returns from Origins. The massive increase in collectibles greatly increases the length of the game, and will train your mind to check absolutely everywhere for a little Teensy cage. Other than the Teensies, the game, as I mentioned, is mostly the same. You can run, jump, glide, run up walls, punch, collect alums, the game's currency, shrink down, and turn into a chicken. Well, that one's new. The worlds and legends are all connected by paintings, Super Mario 64 style. There are six worlds that you can unlock once you obtain enough teensies, but if you're pretty diligent, you can unlock all the worlds after the first few levels, making the game very open and allowing you to tackle the game in any way you want. To keep things interesting, there are several different level types. There's the basic platforming level, which can actually be pretty lengthy, what I call NPC levels, which I'll talk about later, pre-boss levels, which are epic run the hell away stages, boss levels, which are clever and actually pretty difficult later on, and the fan favorite music stages. In these stages, you jump and smash through obstacles in time with remixed popular songs, such as Eye of the Tiger, Mariachi style. These levels, as you can tell, are pretty cool, but there aren't enough of them. Even with the surprise towards the end of the game, this is unfortunate because they're the best thing to happen to Rayman in a while. Now I played Rayman Legends on the Wii U, which means that there are some gamepad exclusive features other versions of the game don't include. I mentioned these levels called NPC levels. In these stages you control not your character, but Murphy, a green sidekick who can manipulate the environment. You have to slide, tap, and destroy objects to make sure the NPC character can move, which is all done on the second screen, and on other versions it's done with a button and an analog stick. These levels are the least exciting out of all of them, and unfortunately they show up a lot. They're a lot less painful with a friend as one of you becomes Murphy and the other becomes a main character, but it just seems like there are too many for the 70 or so total new levels here. Oh, and the gamepad also offers off TV play if you enjoy that, so that's good. There are 700 teensies to collect in the main game, but there are a couple of extras to complete during or after your quest. First and foremost, as you collect more and more lumps, which is the game's currency, you unlock alternate heroes and skins, which is fun. However, the meat of the extras come in the scratch cards. At the end of every level, if you collect enough lumps, you'll receive a scratch card. Every scratch card has a prize, which could be more lumps, a teensy, a creature, or a back to origins level. The creatures are just another way to earn lumps, but the back to origins levels are awesome. Every time you win an origins level, you get to play a level from Rayman Origins remastered for Rayman Legends. Almost half of the levels found in Rayman Origins are redone for Rayman Legends, unlocked by scratch cards. So if you never got a chance to play Origins, you can almost play everything the original had to offer, which is a great addition to the game. Finally, the multiplayer in this game is pretty good for a 2D platformer. 
Four players can share the same screen with no drops in frame rate, but four people can get very hectic, and faster paced levels are annoying with even one other person. Personally, I played through this game solo because I have no one who wants to play with me, but it might be fun to play with two or three other people, if you're willing to die a couple times. Rayman Legends is an amazing platformer. It combines a beautiful art style with a fun soundtrack, solid, challenging platforming, and a load of extras which, for completionists, might cause some trouble. Overall, this game is one of my favorite platformers of this generation, and is a great Wii U game and a great overall game for platformer addicts. I give Rayman Legends a 9.2 out of 10. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, because that's pretty much what it's there for. Also, hit the subscribe button if you are interested in somehow seeing more of my videos whenever I get to them. Also, comment in the box below, tell me if you've ever played Rayman Legends, how did you like it, and if there are any other reviews that you'd like me to do of another game. Every game I would do, but Superman 64. I'm never doing that game. Anyway, uh, also, I have a uh, Twitter page if you're interested in the social media scene. It is at plugged in number two games. It's a little bit different from my YouTube username just because I couldn't fit my YouTube username as a Twitter name. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, as I said before, and I will see you in the next one, guys. See you later.